So really quickly folks, this is a throwback video, uh, wet trail mythology, basically me testing what it's like to wet, ride wet trails when they're super hard packed and how damaging they are. I was using my ProScan crap camera and as you can see the little white arrow things keep popping up. I did debunk that by taking out all my graphics and re-importing it. So here we go. Have fun. I'm sorry, but that's just freaking hilarious. Somebody stapled or posted a True Grit VHS uh, to John Wayne to the tree here. And they stuck a little thing in it. <laughs> wow. This could be kind of an interesting day, maybe. Ooh, hey! They can drop! <laughs> Okay, so like I was trying to say, I wanted to test to see how bad it is for wet trails. And what better place to do it than right here in this park where there's lots of stuff that you wouldn't expect. But first, I'm going to go see what the creek's like on this. This is a paved path that nobody knows about anymore. Oh yeah. Well guess what? It's not flooded at all. It's time to go to the pits. Oh yeah. Wet or dry, this park is a lot of fun. Look at all these drops you can do. I haven't done these in ages. These things are so slippery. And I don't want to do a drop because this is the level I want to be at. So downhill. Let's pave downhill. But it'll be fun anyways. I'm shooting at uh, the new uh, headset or what do you call it? Uh, chest strap. The Garmin chest strap. I got a little riser underneath it. It's not doing much. We'll see how it goes. These here would be... I've done some of these drops here. They're, they're breathtaking. Okay, here we go. Down a hill. This is not part of the test. But it's not flooded here. Oh, with all the rain we've been having, I'm surprised. In fact, the water's not even high. All right, I'm gonna go take a different trail here. You can see washout right here. Oh my gosh! It's kind of fun to ride, but not advisable. That trail's completely gone. I'm gonna take the trail to the right here. Oops, that's it right there. Hello. Oh, this is not an easy entrance to see. <clears throat> And it was super damp, and I was like, nope, nope, but I haven't been back on these trails, ooh, I think since I bought the bike. So I'm getting leaves stuck to my tires, and I'm feeling a little bit of, I'm not leaving a tread, because there's way too many leaves down. It's pretty damp back here still. I'm going to continue, generously, or gently I should say. This area does not get many travelers. You have to know where you're going back here. That's a whole lot of easy fun. Alright, let's go over to this area up here. I'm going to go to the pits here in a second. This area here is usually pretty muddy. I'm going to ride right through the... So, this has always been a good gauge for me. Can you see that or not? But Obviously trucks have come through here, city trucks. And I just went through right here, and I'm not seeing any tracks. But I am seeing somebody's cyclocross with no grip tires. All right, here we go, Vortex Trail. It's actually pretty dry. It's very damp and I am climbing up the hill. Pretty damp, All right, not too bad. My worst fear is finding a trilobite bite back here. I'm not seeing uh, any other tracks back here. 
I was seeing skid marks from who knows why. It's actually way more drier here than that used to be the I'm gonna go down the first main one here. See what it's like. Oh yeah. Not too bad. I cased it. Looks like they're uh they cut out some trees. Alright, so I'm gonna go up this. And I can see tire tracks right there. Yep. Somebody's been back here all right today. Right here, there's tire tracks. I may have left some. It's not too bad though, considering. It's uh, drying out nicely back here. So the thing about this park is this, this trail here, this trail here, the chute I call it, the trail going that way, there was a trail in the middle at one point in time. They've been here since I can remember, which is pretty gosh darn near 30 years. They are so hard packed, when they get wet you can still very gently ride them. But I wouldn't recommend riding wet trails. But you'll have to excuse my sweatshirt right there. I can see my tracks are anything not too. So it's a little bit damp. But it's rideable. So oh look at that. That's awesome. I thought it was gone. My trail sign is still here. Gosh, I put that up probably four or five years ago. At least. So this used to be the main jump line here. I'm gonna go look at it. This was uh, the Wicked Jump, and uh, oh, it's all worn down. It was a fun jump, but as you can see, erosion. And it almost looks like, see, I tried to rebuild this, and it almost looks like, uh, I think I'm gonna roll down this, just for the heck of it. But before I do that, I'm gonna move these branches. Right, I'm just gonna roll down with used to be the wicked jump. I said I tried to rebuild it, but it kind of is not so good right now. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. All right, let's go take a look. You can see I'm getting some dirt on my tires, but that was the case at like Rebecca after they opened them. I was there two days after the rain. Let's see if I made any marks. Yep, I did. Okay, so right there and right up there I made a mark. It's really soft and I'm not sure why. So, if trails aren't ridden, they get like this. So you can see this is what happens when trails don't get ridden. Is that they get kind of like this, overgrown and soft. Whereas, this trail up here is totally hard pack and awesome. You can see there's a big tree that fell off down there. But uh, that trail goes, that's a, coming back this way. So my conclusion is, <clears throat> it's wet but it's not too wet. So can you ride super hard pack in the wet? I mean people obviously do it. But uh, my test today was to see if I would leave any marks anywhere. I did. And to see if I was doing any damage to the trail. Um, I think that one over there I did because it hasn't been ridden. But I think everything that I rode was uh, actually rideable. It just has some um, minor wetness to it yet. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see if anything's opened in the area. So there's water on either side of me, wetness. But the leaves that are down uh, are helping. And you can see that we're starting to get into our peak color season here. So, in conclusion, 
I think, uh, you know, my, my theory was that if it's hard pack enough, you can ride it when it's a little bit wet. And I'm discovering that today. Uh, the trails are super hard packed. I'm not leaving any imprint on. Uh, however, it's not that wet. It hasn't rained at all today. The last rain came through real, real early in the morning, like 12 or 1 a.m. Uh, from what I understand. So, this is North Creek side. Again, I almost always, oh, I'm seeing tracks of, uh, I almost always come across people back here. But I'm seeing tracks of other bikes that have come through here. So, it's pretty damp. I'm kind of going slow and easy. Bench warmer is a trail next to me here. Meets up with the main trail here in a second. I'm going to, yeah, right here. Move kind of slowly through here because a lot of people are out, out today, even though it's kind of icky. Okay, that's the mud spot. Okay, so I did not leave a mark, and I'm not seeing any tread marks. Uh, I'm not seeing much more dirt on my tires. Like I said, the super hard packedness of these trails. I mean, I've ridden them when they were even wetter than this back in the day. Oh, there's a tennis ball. Have you ever biked, mountain biked over a tennis ball on the trail? Absolutely. I just biked over a tennis ball in the middle of the trail. Obviously, some dog left that. That's hilarious. 